In this video, I want to talk to you about some of the different opportunities for deer hunting in Arizona this year. If you remember back in 2020, they had the over-the-counter deer season open in Unit 27 with unlimited quota. Guys were seeing a lot of deer, it's just that the age class was missing for the mule deer in that unit. If you fast forward a couple years into 2023, Game and Fish is adding tags, mule deer tags in Unit 27. So the early archery season is going to be the first opportunity for hunters to go into that unit and harvest some of those bucks. For residents that are planning to hunt from home and just go on day trips for the early archery season, your best bet is probably going to be Unit 6A, Unit 7, and 8. The downside of these units is the close proximity to Flagstaff and Phoenix. And there are a lot of tourists camping in these units in August and September. They took away the trail cameras as a tool for hunters to use in Arizona, but you can still spotlight. And I know last year there were a lot of spotlighters out in these units during that early archery season. If you are going to be in one of these units especially, scouting from the road is going to probably be a lot less effective because of all this spotlighting activity. Any of these units I've talked about so far would be good to apply for rifle tags in these units. I'd stay away from 20B. Unit 10 I would probably shy away from just because they do have those late rifle tags there again this year in December and it seemed like guys were having trouble finding bucks in Unit 10 during the late season last year, last December. I'd stay away from the Kofa range this year, the 45s, very low deer density out there. And you can tell because I don't even think the quota was reached. The harvest limit last year was reached in January. If you want to get out and rifle hunt and you have, don't have any points, consider the Coos deer units. A lot of great hunting down there. The nice thing about hunting that first season is the temperatures are warmer but there are a lot more bucks and the uh, higher temperatures keep down the illegal border crossing activity. That picks up more in December. If you're a long range shooter, I would say unit 29, like 800 yards, 900 yards, you can get some really good opportunities at some of the coos deer bucks across the canyons. On our website, we have an online magazine of scouting information for hunters in Arizona, either elk or deer. It's going to be almost impossible to draw without 10 points or more. There's the Kaibab and the Strip north of the Grand Canyon, although the quality of hunting is some of the best in the world. And they have that early archery season for 12A, which is what I would focus on. A lot of deer, a lot of bucks. Huge unit because you can hunt 12A west and 12A east. And so it should be superb with a year like this, especially. 